Hello. We've not said hello yet, have we? We have not. We're going on flight of passage. Later. But first. Classics. All about the classics. Ready, Yeti? Expedition Everest Deep Everest. Secure all gear in the cargo bag. Do you know anything about us? Or me specifically? I'm about to feel sick on this ride. The one ride. That mission space. I gotta go on this. Mission space, I just don't go on. But this is the most beautiful time to go on this. Look at this. Oh. Oh. Look at that waterfall. It's like Radiator Springs Racers out here. It was a good ride. I didn't get too sick feeling and it was beautiful. Yeah, oh my god. Now can we go to Flight of Passage please? Oh. March Madness literally makes people mad sometimes. Cole, Chelsea and Kristen were supposed to come with us tonight. We have five fast passes to Flights of Wonder, or Flight of Passage. <laughs> we're, we're passing by the old Flights of Wonder for a Flight of Passage. Somehow this girl nabbed him like two months ago. Somehow. I did it like 60 days out. I texted everybody. But like, even then. Do you guys want to go on a random Thursday night? But even then, it's still hard for like annual pass holders to get those fast passes. Yeah, I still it's the first it time we've gotten them. Night. Right, still it's the first time we've gotten them like that far out. Yeah. We usually get like real lucky or just wait the three hours. <laughs> this will be my third or fourth time. Third time? Um, I think fourth. So, but still, like four times in the seven or eight months we've lived here, and yeah. you guys see how often we come to the parks. Yeah. But them three didn't come with us because March Madness. Florida State's doing well right now. So priorities. So I, that's what they're passionate about. I'm passionate about Avatar. But did you guys know? I don't think you even said what we're doing Monday night. What? We're gonna be with them Monday night. We're gonna be with them Monday night. Why? <laughs> we're going to Ohana. <laughs> so excited! It hasn't hit me yet. It's gonna be tomorrow. We got it. Like we said, it was a busy weekend, week, and it's gonna be super exciting. Before, but not at night. Yeah, I and love that. Was, that was the, the perfect way to like waste that 10 minutes. So I wanted to get some time lapses. I don't know if we're gonna use it or not, but they were cool because the sun was setting, and then those drummers started. Yeah, it was the best way to spend those 10 minutes. 
Are you so excited to go on? We haven't yeah. been on in, in so months. long. Months. Super excited. I don't want to ruin it for anybody who hasn't ridden it or who has, but like I noticed something about this ride last time we were on it, and I kind of can't look at it the same. I don't know if you're going to say it, because we both realized it. Yeah, but it's just like, it's going to be weird, so I'll let you know after, we'll let you know after we ride it. If it ruined it and what it was, if it did or didn't. Because the last time we were on it is when we noticed it. We haven't been on it and since. it changed the way, like, it's still the most incredible ride I've ever been on, but it just changed how I looked at the air. Oh my god, we just we just got two rides on Flight of Passage. We just skipped like maybe 30 people. Welcome to the Avatar program. The way you're gonna do this is by being matched to something called an Avatar. And I'm here to help you guys get ready. But first, we have to scan you for Pandoran microparasites. What? Alright everyone, stay on your number and move your arms a bit. Okay, so that ride is still I always forget that like I always say Space Mom's my favorite ride. But I'm pretty certain that's my favorite ride. I don't think it's my favorite ride, but I think it's the best ride. Ooh, it's getting dark. I think but it like get wins the like most overwhelming like top notch ride. Oh my gosh. We need to get wait till it's light. Okay, so we're going on uh safari. It's safari. And they're letting us go up the fast pass because it's cold and really late. The park closes in like 30 minutes. It closes so at 9:30. Yeah. Such a weird time. Such a weird time. So we're gonna tell you the secret of Flight uh -huh. of Passage because it didn't ruin it for us. So wait, 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 fast forward like 30 seconds if you don't want to hear it because it's gonna affect you. Okay. It is basically, it's soaring. Like if you soaring. you can look wherever you sit, you can turn and so freak you out and see rows on different levels of the other guests. Three rows. We Three thought, levels. I thought that it was just like one room and it was your screen. But Each like, room had its own screen. I think that it's why it's such a wow factor every time because it's slightly different. Like tonight I was the farthest left. Yeah. And so, holy smokes. So if you want to see it, look to either side and see the people. But at the end though, do it at the end because it'll distract you the whole Really? The glasses do a good job at hiding like, it. Hiding the peripherals. it. So you don't Hi. see it unless you're looking for it. Not a word. As we say here in the village of Harambe, Bay Twente, that means let's go. Yeah, two birds. Black riders are three thousand pounds. They are endangered. Pretty interesting thing about giraffes, actually they only sleep about 30 minutes a day. That's all the sleep that they require in a day. They don't even do that all at once. They can do it in small increments, five minutes here, five minutes there throughout their day. Daytime, a lion's vision is pretty similar to a human's. However, once the sun goes down, it actually proves to be about six times better. I'm like a good classic nighttime <laughs> safari. The, the lions are playful. Yeah, the two, there are two lionesses that were we're up and playing, and the one laid down just like Eve lays down. <laughs> we could see happily ever after. Yeah. It was so freaky, but like the lights. Yeah. I heard that, that that's the elephant's favorite nighttime spectacular. You did? It was happily ever after because they can watch it from their home. <laughs> oh my god, we proudly interrupt this normally scheduled vlog to exclaim that at Pizza Fari they have got the normal pizzas back. These are our favorite kind of pizzas. They used to have them at. Um, Pinocchio house and then here and they took them away from all the places and got healthy flatbreads. A and flatbread's good, but it's like I like to add I, We're getting those pizzas in the next two months. We're home. Yes, we are. We got splaining to do and we got stuff to do. What's splaining? That's for after the dishes. That's super exciting for me. Also exciting for Sarah, just not as much. But super exciting <laughs> for me. But we got a lot of dishes to do. I'm gonna record something or like edit something for um, our Patreon for Park Hopper Podcast. So you'll see that in a second. Super pumped about that. Alrighty, so. let's get this done. So we can just, well, we got other stuff to do, but. So we can do more More stuff. relaxing things, that were, more enjoyable things than dishes. Oh, 
be right back. I'm gonna get a band aid and hopefully that'll stop it. Slice your own mess. Let me give you a little update. I came into the second bedroom to edit a little old video. So this is gonna be the first one that uh, Dom and I are actually posting, but I did, we took footage for a ride through for Pirates of the Caribbean, it was with the new scenes. But what we're gonna do is once a month on our Patreon, that is like our, our like exclusive Facebook for supporters of our podcast, um, I'm gonna do, we're gonna, I'll record a ride through and either Dom and I will do like a voiceover of either commentary or history or just our opinion of the ride as you're going through the ride. So I'm just going to edit and I have to edit it and I need to record the actual commentary of it. So that's what I'm going to do. Sarah's finishing up the dishes. We did most of them. She only has two left. They're bigger and she's talking to her mom. Um, so I'm going to try to get this and hopefully it won't take too long because it's late. But we've been working hard and getting stuff organized, feeling good, ready for the weekend. All right, our night is winding down. Sarah's finished or working on some laundry. She did a great job finishing the dishes. But our first ride through Roundhouse for our Park Hopper Podcast Patreon is up. So go to patreon.com backslash Park Hopper Podcast to figure out what that is. I did like a five minute video of the ride through of the new Pirates of Caribbean with me like talking over parts of it. But now, to tell you what happened earlier, because we got a box today, but this was, this was expected. We just didn't tell you about it because we wanted to give you the proper introduction to it. But this box came today, look on the side of it. Notice, extremely addicting contents. Though, don't be scared. It's from Expedition Roasters, Brew Your Happy Place. So, uh, one of the added benefits of like having our memories from the vlog and then making wonderful friends and meeting wonderful people, that's been like the top things. But another thing is what we've been doing is like reaching out to other small businesses like because like we understand small business to a point with the Plain Crazy Button Club and everything and it's just like more friends. And when I first saw this company's Instagram and their website, I was like, oh my God, I love coffee, I love Disney. This is the perfect marriage. So I, I reached out to them and I was like, hey. And their packaging is like. So like coming from the aesthetic design over here. This is why we mentioned that like, it's more for me because Sarah doesn't drink coffee. Right. However, a lot of it, I will be involved because what we wanted to, when Peter reached out to them, um, one of the biggest perks of us living down here is that we have access to the parks. Um, and so we are going to take some photos for them. Tim Tracker this past week in their live stream said that they've, they've drank. They, they're formerly Trader Sam's coffee. But now they're Expedition Roasters. And Tim and Jenna have had their coffee before too. And I've heard from other people as well. Our friend Freddie did an awesome article on them. We'll put that below too. Yeah. He's the guy who wrote that article about us a couple, yeah. like two, three months ago. So I was like, you know, I know their stuff's good. And I remember saying they just came out with a new Route 66 roast and I was like you know we well, how we feel about route 66 mm -hmm. so I reached out and I was like you know what I just just think about it I think you guys make great stuff um, we live down here you can see from our YouTube we're in the parks all the time if you ever th want to think about it like we would love to take photos for you in the parks Eric and Marlene sent with message back was like we would love that like yeah let's get you caffeinated up we'll get you some mm -hmm. some full bags and some empty bags so they don't have to walk around with a bunch of coffee bags in the parks which I would and uh, over the next couple weeks and months, we're going to start taking some photos for their Instagram or for whatever they want. But, in a selfish sense, I get to try all this coffee and I'm going to let you guys know if it's good or not. And I'm sure it is. <laughs> More so, like, not if it's good or not, but if it's, like, your taste and if, like, yeah. getting a better idea of how they do taste so that if you want to buy some, then you can. But I want to show you the packaging because that's where it's at. This is a newer one, Redhead Rum. That's probably going to be the first one I try because it has, it has like rum flavor to it, but it's still coffee. Roundup Roast, Banana Pie, Ghoulish Delight, Main Street Colombian, New Orleans Praline. This is the Route 66 Tire Fix, which just came out. Which this will probably be the second one I try. 
Bob Slutter's Brew, Enchanted Tiki, Coconut, and Dark Side Roast. And then they gave us some stickers and stuff as well. Really cool thing. It's another creative outlet. It's another it's another Disney friend to make, just as much as like we like to meet all of you guys who watch us in the parks or whenever we can, whenever we cross paths. Um, it's another it's another like art connection, Disney connection. So we're really excited. It's bad time. I'm eating the last of my Irish soda bread. We had a productive night and a fun night at Animal Kingdom. And we got a lot of stuff done. I feel like this is the most prepared we've been for the weekend in a long time. And we are prepared. And it's a three day weekend, but we haven't explained why. But it's a three day weekend for us. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.